Now we're with Sly from Madman Entertainment. How are you doing, Sly? Hey, Mega, thanks. That's good, that's good. So, Madman Entertainment, can you tell us what it is or how did it get started? Uh, well, we've been around for 20 years now. It's actually our 20th anniversary this year, so thank you very much. Uh, and started off originally as a uh, VHS import business. I don't know if you're people are watching now are young enough to remember video cassette tapes. Yeah, things that you put a little thing and it plays and you can't, you can't, you can't skip, you have to you know, fast forward and rewind. So uh, Tim Anderson, one of our co-founders, uh, he started it off as an import uh, business, uh, importing videotapes, like really hard to get anime titles from America. Uh, then he started licensing this stuff and creating, you know, tapes in PAL, which was, you know, the way actually format was sort of back in the day, you had to get into the right format. Um, that was sort of meant back in 1996. Eventually, uh, around 1999, 2000, we moved into moving DVD production ourselves here in Australia, and the market really grew and grew and grew. Um, things like uh, anime on TV, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Neon Genesis Evangelion on SBS especially, you know, that brought in a lot of fans into Australia and you know, we were to really grow the company from then and you know, here we are 20 years later and we're still going strong. So, so what have been some of the major successes for Mad Max? Uh, major successes, I think, you know, to be able to get a lot of um, titles onto television and expose it to a really wide audience in Australia, you know, trying to capture them in and get them to ex expose them to anime, you know, in, in one title, you know, stuff like Sailor Moon, yeah, like I said, Eva, Eva, Dragon Ball Z, get them in and then try and uh, expose them that way to see the fact that there's, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of anime titles that are released every single year. So uh, we're really proud of that. We're also really proud to be able to, you know, support really big community events like this one, like Smash. Uh, you know, they go for 10 years now, so really, really uh, happy about that. Um, other things, you know, we've been able to bring manga to Australia, to a lot of Australian audiences, importing manga and uh, distributing manga. And now also we've now started our own um, uh, uh, streaming platform on Anime Lab. So, you see, you, in the past, Mad Men has distributed uh, anime and manga. Mm -hmm. has, have they actually produced any of their own manga? Uh, we haven't produced any of our own as such, like local productions for anime, but we have for other like Australian films and uh, okay. other sort of productions as well. Um, there was a, a fairly well-known one called Waste Panda, Wasteland of Panda. Uh, we, we, we helped with the production with that one and also with um, an old Australian classic called Kenny, and uh, there was a real. We're doing a lot of documentaries now as well. So there was a film called um, that Sugar Film that we did as well. So not so much in the anime uh, our manga space, but definitely in the other space. But uh, I guess other things that we're doing now that's really exciting is um, we're putting on our own event, the Madman Anime Festival. So that's happening um, September three and four um, at the Melbourne uh, Convention Exhibition Centre. So it's the first time that we're putting on an event. You know, think of it like you know, I guess you know for your audiences that are in Sydney. It's like Smash, but you know, uh, bringing a lot of Japanese guests, a lot of you know, uh, game vendors. Banda and Namco going to be there. It's the first time in Australia going to be able to play games like Final Fantasy 15, uh, the World of Final Fantasy, and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to have a lot of little interesting things like you know, One Punch Man, Sword Art Online guests, and also uh, uh, an exhibition for Tokyo Ghoul as well, uh, and a lot of other really fun activities as well over the weekend. That's fantastic. So Sly, uh, in your own personal opinion. Out of all the animes and mangas that we have out there, do you have a favourite? I do. Uh, my personal favourite film of all time is uh, Laputa, Castle in the Sky. It's a Shiri Ghibli film by Hayao Miyazaki. One of his classics and I watch that sort of, you know, all the time and it just brings back a lot of memories. I grew up on that movie. So, for you, what got you into animes and, and manga? Like? Um, I was originally born in Hong Kong, so I was sort of uh, lucky enough to be exposed to a lot of that kind of stuff on TV, you know. I was just, you know, this kind of cartoony stuff, whatever, it's kids kind of cool, kids are playing toys and all that kind of stuff with it. That's how I initially got exposed to it, but then when I moved to Australia, I kind of rediscovered anime with um, uh, Evangelion on TV. That's kind of got, got me hooked in, and then like, oh, you know, what else is there to watch? You know, Dragon Ball Z was on TV, and then Sailor Moon was on TV, and you know, Kind of, kind of got sucked into the uh, the, the whirlpool of, of anime from there. I actually remember watching Neon Dust as well. I think it was yeah, on yeah. SBS, SBS and like it was a, it was a, yeah, yeah, it was a, it was prime time, was prime good. time. I remember those days. Uh, they were really good. And uh, I think for most people here as well at Smash, I think they have to credit those type of shows that were put on at those yeah, times, think, and that's what got them into it as well. Yeah, I think a lot of people were sort of brought in with that, and then now you know, uh, some some of the younger generation, Pokemon, and of course now. You know, we're hoping with our platform like Anime Lab to be able to, because a lot of a lot of people now, instead of being exposed to stuff on TV, they're watching stuff on, on online. So you know, having our own streaming platform, we can introduce the audience to, to even more titles. 
Uh, you mentioned you grew up in Hong Kong. Yes. So did you go to any, were there any type of conventions like this in Hong Kong? Not when I was growing up as such, but I know now that there's a couple of events on that are fairly big. Uh, C3 Chara Expo, that's on around February. And the biggest one in Southeast Asia is um, ACG Hong Kong, which is anime, comics and games. And that gets about half a million people there. It runs for a whole week as well. And so have you been to any of those? I've been to ACG once. Right. And would you say obviously the environment and... The, the scale is, is something that's, that's not seen sort of anywhere else. You know, big, big, big halls, um, multiplied by, you know, 220 and it's just, you know, like a, like a party the entire time. Brilliant. Anyway, Sly, thank you very much. Yeah, and thank thanks for letting us know about what your favorite animes are. And, and ho hopefully, you know, Batman can keep on bringing out those animes so we can all watch them. We'll try our best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Ciao.